And that day, Ruth went to work in the fields. She started collecting the leftover ears of corn. Ah, it is scorching and I am thirsty. Where can I get some water? The field that Ruth chose to work that day was owned by Boaz, a relative of Naomi. On that day, Boaz came to the field to oversee the reaping. Who is that young woman? Oh her! Do you remember your aunt Naomi? Naomi? Wife of Elimelech? Yes, that young woman is the daughter-in-law of Naomi. She has me permission to glean in your field and I allowed. Hmm, they are poor widows. She hasn't taken any break all day. Hmm, I remember Naomi. She was a good woman and she was tried very hard. What's your name? Ah, uh, me? Yes, you come here. Yes, master. What's your name? My name is Ruth. I am wife of Naomi's son. I know. I am a relative of Naomi. Oh. You don't have to go anywhere else for gleaning. No one will bother you here. You may drink water from my servant's drawer. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. But what have I done to deserve this? You? You left everything and came here with your mother-in-law? Come with me. We'll have something to eat. Here, have this. Hmm, this is such delicious bread. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Can I take this bread to my mother? She will like this very much. Of course you can. Thank you. Boaz liked Ruth very much and he decided to help her. You pull a few years of corn from the bundle and let them fall down. Let Ruth collect those. You have a good heart, Master. Lord God, protector of the weak, wonderful are your ways. Ruth, how was your day? And... And... How did you get so much grain? Ah! Uh, mother, Lord led me into the field of a man called Boaz, a very generous man. Did you... did you say Boaz? <laughs> yes, he told me he was a relative of yours. Yes, he is my nephew, my cousin's son. He was so kind, he gave me a lot of bread and roasted grains too. Thank you God. He also allowed me to glean in his field till the end of the harvest season. That's wonderful. 
Mother, let's give some bread and grains to our neighbor, Lady Maka. Yes, she is a kind woman and she helped us so much. Until the end of harvest season, Ruth gleaned in the fields of Boaz. She gleaned during the day and at night she sewed clothes for the poor. Hmm. Let's go to bed, dear. You've been working all day. You go ahead, mother. I will finish this one and join you. But Ruth, look at you. You look so tired. Don't worry, mother. I will join you. Besides, tomorrow we are having the harvest feast. Boaz has invited me to. Really? You must wear your best clothes and don't forget to put on your ornaments too. Ha <laughs> I will, mother. Now you go ahead and sleep. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos.